Welcome back to the show. This morning we have Patricia Sister Barnes in the kitchen with us. She's the lady behind Sister Schubert's homemade rolls. Very nice, and thank you for warming these up. You're very welcome. I asked her to warm up the cinnamon rolls, and voila. They are delicious. It's my specialty. It's <laughs> something that makes, something makes it easy to do. It surely does. Now, we're making the sliders today. Yes, we are. And where do, how do we get started? Well, it's actually everybody, every family probably has their favorite tailgating items that they always take. Mm -hmm. Ours is always Oaks hamburgers, pimento cheese, my mother's whipped cream pound cake. Mm. But um, I decided to do something a little different and combine the burgers with my homemade pimento cheese oh. this year. And it's been a big hit. So we're, now it's got to be a staple for every one of our tailgates as well. Very so nice. So I'm going to be showing you how to make my, my homemade pimento cheese. All right, let's get started. It's really not pimento cheese. It's not. No, it's not made with pimentos. It's made with roasted peppers. Okay. So tell us while you're doing that, how you got started. Well, I actually, from the time I could climb up on a kitchen stool and hold a spoon, I loved being in the kitchen, baking and cooking. And if somebody would let me stir a pot, I would do that. <laughs> and one of the most wonderful influences in my life was my grandmother. We all called her Gami. And Gami taught me how to make her wonderful little homemade yeast rolls. Mm. So when I was about 12 years old, that became my job mm -hmm. for every holiday and every event, family event. So you perfected it, huh? So, I, gosh, from the age of 12, I was making these rolls and uh, love it, loving it. And I don't, I don't mean just loving it. it. To me, cooking and baking is a passion for me. Mm -hmm. I can't be any happier than when I'm in the kitchen. And when you see someone enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying the cinnamon yes, roll, it that makes you makes happy, it. doesn't it? We, we love the fact that people seem to enjoy our rolls as much as we enjoy making them. Mm -hmm. It's a joyous place to be every day. It really is. Okay, so I see you have two different so, kinds of cheeses. Well, it's actually three. Okay. That's the kind of a secret, too. Oh. I like to add layers of flavors. So we have a white Vermont cheddar and a yellow sharp cheddar and a little cream cheese, four ounces of cream cheese. And we combine all of this. My secret is that I have always put about a fourth of a cup of grated onion in my pimento cheese. Gives it a real zest. About a tablespoon of Worcestershire. My roasted red peppers, which I actually roasted these, but if you don't want to roast them, they have some. You can always find them in the pickle section of the grocery store. And another little secret is I add a little spice. I like to spice it up with a little cayenne pepper and about a half a cup of homemade mayonnaise or your favorite mayonnaise, does not matter. And then we just combine all of this together. It's much better actually to prepare it the day before okay. because all those flavors meld together and just mm -hmm. makes it even that much better. It's kind of like leftovers. They always taste better the next day. And then rather than do anything un out of, we, we're so extraordinary with our bread and mm -hmm. it adds such a unique flavor. So I take our little dinner yeast rolls and I'm making sliders with them. Oh. So I take our burger that also is made with two different types of meat because mm -hmm. I think, you know, do a sirloin and a chuck or, or a ground round and a, and a sirloin. But make two different flavors of meat. It adds a little something special mm -hmm. to the meat too, the patties. You grill your patties and then you put your wonderful pimento cheese on top of that hot patty and it just kind of melts down in there. Mm. And you have no need for any other condiments. You've got your onion, you've got your mayonnaise, you've got all that in your cheese. All the flavors right so there. So you don't need to do anything else. It makes it a great tailgate item. Many layers of flavor. Flavor, yes. From the cheese to the meat. Yes. All right, well, we'll be checking back in with you okay. in about 10 to 15 minutes. I can't wait to see what you're going to show us next. <laughs> Maybe the rest of the rolls. We Kate. do have a lot of, lot of rolls to show you. <laughs> All right, more Talk of Alabama is headed your way, including this week's do-it-yourself project. Today we have something perfect for the fall. Sherry Corey is up next to explain. You're watching ABC 3340.